All right, guys. It's been some bullshit today, so we're just going to go right into it. I do have clothes on underneath here. <sighs> good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending where you are. It looks like it's evening here, but it's it's just been dark. It was the sun did come out today, and it was beautiful. Um, quick story time, though. It was just I feel like there's there's not really a way to summarize what it's like trying to not be in a state of control because there's times where it's just beautiful and it's peaceful and it's calm or it's yeah it just kind of feels like calm waters and then there's other times where it's like it's like choppy water it's like it's like being on a roller coaster and praying that it doesn't fall off the track because it's get you it's you hear you hear some things you hear some some things breaking or something like I don't know how to describe it um and it's so it's just it's really hard sometimes and then other times it's so beautiful and like I love that I love the I love the adventure I mean that's just like the beauty of it and um all of the learning and like there's lots of like parts of it and just life period that are really beautiful but like it was just today like teddy was just yesterday he was like super cool super chill actually i think i did a video and he was kind of hyper when i was doing the video but most of the day he was calm and but we weren't we've been inside a lot lately with all the weather and we we stayed I think inside mostly yesterday and then he was just nuts today so we went and did some scooter time and that went went fine um I love it because I get to get some walking and I have to run to chase him too but anyway um and then he's like yeah let's go to the store and we had to get a couple things so we go to the store and we're going we go and to go to the bathroom and this girl was there with her adorable little girl who had this precious outfit on and I commented on it and then she was like hey the lady the girl she didn't even ask my name she was like hey I've got a question for you when you get out I was like oh, okay you can ask me now I mean I don't know how I'm paraphrasing and and she was like okay she was like can I get your again I don't remember the conversation but something about like can I get your number like or she said she says something like, hey, what, can I get your number? She's like, is your, is your child autistic? And I was like, yeah, how'd you know? And because we had just walked in the bathroom and I mean, I'm sure he was like, he was saying something, but anywho, um, and she was like, yeah, my son's autistic too. And she's like, I could tell. And, um, she's like, I'd love to like meet up with you guys sometime. Do you live around here? And I said, yes, we live. And she lives somewhere else, but I gave her my number and then she, I asked her, I told her my name, she showed me hers and then <laughs> that was it. And she texted me later, but it was just like so random. But I was just like, I mean, she just was like friendly and I was like, yeah, sure. Like, let's meet up sometime. And it was just like so, so wild because there was this long period of time of feeling like I, and I even, even tried to hang out with other people who through like different, the programs that we've done and stuff and it didn't work out. Um, whose kids I knew were on the spectrum and stuff like that. And it's like, it's just so weird how life does these things sometimes. And I mean, we, I don't, don't know what will happen, but it was just a really beautiful moment. And then my kid is like a maniac in the store. And then he's does his flopping thing, which he's just too old for now. Like he's, he's almost as big as me all. Like, I think he's about 80 pounds. I'm about 120. He's more than half my height. Um, Anyways, so this this badass like, in I don't know what nationality she is. She has a, a she had beautiful olive skin and a strong accent, so I know she has to be some Middle Eastern Mediterranean, and I she seemed Indian to me. Um, came up and started talking. She was like, <laughs> just like, and this isn't the first time this happened, but it was just like the way she was like such a badass about it. She was like, hey, you need to get up. The security cop is coming. <laughs> I mean, she said it in a calm tone, but it was just like so savage. And he, I literally, he got, uh, and I, she probably said some other things too, but she was like, come on, you need to get on your feet and help your mom and stuff like that. And Teddy just got up and he was like, I'm sorry. And he kept looking back at her because I think he was so, 
taken aback too. And then we walk out of the store and it's like not just coming down y'all. It was monsooning because it was like one of those things of like, it's starting to rain. And I was like, I don't know if we should just wait or just go. So we went and it like, it was like, we were soaked before we got to the car and Teddy, um, he, he fell on the way there, scrape. He was fine. But he did scrape himself, get to the car, throw the stuff in. I knocked a trash can over, I had to go pick it back up. It was dramatic to say the least. While meanwhile, this cop had had his car, car parked, and he might have been in the store because he had tinted windows. But I'm like, did he really just watch us this whole time while I, I look like a total mess? Anyway, and then he's like crying because he needs a band aid on the way back, and not that the band aid's gonna cure it, but that's that's how he thinks. And so we he we got home and it was fine. It was just like. That's what it's like because it's like that lady was such a beautiful, like got both of those people that we encountered were like beautiful, like l little earth angels, but I'm out here doing this alone. And it's like, that's not the first time that, of course, I mean, that just happens, you know, to everybody where it's like raining. It was just like, <laughs> cause it was, it wasn't like it was rainy all day today. It was like that, that one. And it's, we've had a couple of like, showers in between and that's where we live too but all right that was just our story my story time for today because I had to cry about it and get over it and keep going but sometimes you're just like I, I guess we're gonna it literally does just feel like survival and it's just like it's not like I know anyway I don't want to get on a bunch of different tangents um I don't have anybody to talk to about it I think that's why it makes me so crazy sometimes because I'm just like <sighs> anyways um it's a wild ride sometimes all right so we did i got they kept they pulled me hard to to, to do the new deck and i want to show you guys these cards because they're just so beautiful and magical and there's some story behind this for me as well um so we got on this deck we have the emperor with the beautiful owl and it's a very interesting scene with the lamb or the ram yeah, the ram in the background with the mountains, like kind of looking up towards them. Um, and there's a lot of like Native American symbolism in that one. And then we've got the seven of cups with the hair. So this, I didn't notice it right away, but this is Martin. This owl is Martin. There's, there's an owl that they kept for a little while at Five Rivers is a place that's close by to us and he was imprinted and the first time I saw him I was like I thought he was fake because that's what's so crazy about owls is they're so calm and stoic that a fake one looks a one that's been stuffed looks just as the same as a real one until he turned his face and looked at me and I mean he looked through me y'all I mean it was it literally caught my breath because it was just, it was so stunning. And it was so, it was just like seeing God in that moment. And I, I think I talked about it in another video, but it was like, cause I have, I've always had a thing for owls. I the owl calls, they're like very symbolic to me and I love owls. And so, and then he kept looking at us, which might be because he wanted to eat us cause he was imprinted. And he was in a, he was in a, his own cage. I mean, I don't know. Supposedly they 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 are they're threatened by humans or something. Um, I guess it's just the imprint kind of messes with them. But anyway, he was he was beautiful. Um, I thought that was such an interesting pick that this guy chose owl an owl for that. Um, but the owl kind of is looking that is always like looking out over everything. So he's like he's like the overseer, like the emperor. So he's like overseeing everything. He's not just he's like beyond a manager because he's like making sure everything goes as it should, type of thing. Like that's the energy that I get from that. Um he's crossing the T's and dotting the I's and he's gonna hunt somebody down if they're not doing what they're supposed to, which is badass. Um yeah. And so seven of cups. So that's confusion. So, but seven of cups is also like, it's, it's technically too many options or it's like you have a lot of options. So you have a lot to choose from, or you have a lot on your mind is what I'm getting 
because especially the way this hair looks like he's kind of just looking at the sky and all the thing all of the stars all the constellations which are cups but um and he's like trying to figure out which way to go or what 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 he wants to do um and then my other deck I pulled some cards and We've got two of pentacles reversed, so you feel like, and I felt that today too with everything that happened. It was like, you feel like you can't, you're just not juggling at all. You're just like, I'm not even juggling all of it right now. Um, yeah, I got the full reverse. I'm getting that you're afraid to take a leap of faith and or you haven't, or there could even be like some reckless behavior going on. Um, again, when there's tower moments or like craziness, it's hard to not be reckless or it kind of, tower moments come across as reckless. Like when there's destruction going on, it's like, or just like wild moments, it feels kind of reckless. It's kind of like, like I said, it's like the bumpy, have you ever been on a bumpy roller coaster? Because it's, it's painful and it's, that it's not really even fun. Like, I think that there's like, it's like a, Glutton for punish. What is it? Um, what is it called? Glutton for punishment. I can't think of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like you do it just to see what it's gonna be like, and then you're like, "Why did I do that?" Like it's just it's like the you know the like carny like roller coasters. I've only done it one time, and I was like, "No, no, I'll do the high tech ones. Those are way more fun and less painful." <laughs> Okay, um, we got, we also have death reverse clarified by the king of pinnacles. So what I'm getting from that is, and I don't know why my energy is goofy, y'all. I think it's just because I'm tired and today was crazy and that's how it's coming through. So, anywho, um, all right, so we have death reverse clarified by the king of pentacles so i'm getting that you're fighting like an ego death um yeah something about like you're fighting some some, some or an ending of a cycle um could even be afraid of an ending of a cycle but that's going to bring you to that stability uh, it's just what I'm getting from this is that because that's where it's hard, of course, like especially with depending on what you're going through or if not being being in control like the emperor. OK, so let's 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 um, let's let's ping pong. So the emperor is a position of control and power, but he's not. Um. He's not like a king of swords. Like he's not, and even king of, even ki all kings have to have to learn how have to know when to, when to call it and when to, like when to when to play when to when to move and when to let things go. But like the emperor is trying to move from a place of wisdom. He's trying to. He's a. It's a like a divinity, a divine like placement where it's like. You're like, cause I, the owl, like you think about an owl, they're, they're calm. They don't, they're not rash. They're not impulsive in any way. Like they, they, they target what they want. They hunt, they look it down and they go straight in. I think I don't study owls, but I have, well, I have watched videos and I have learned about them some. So, um, they are very precise and when they, and, and when they are trying to do, to make an action, they don't just, they're not just moving around for the hell of it. So, um, they're very, very serious about what they're doing. And so they're kind of like letting the things around them move and do what they want. And they're very centered in who they, in, in themselves and in, in, in their place. Um, they're very sure of themselves. Um, so that letting go of control can be scary or those taking leaps of faith can be scary. But when you move from a place of intuition and wisdom, um, then there's no reason, there's nothing to fear. Um, and facing your fears is one of those things that it does, it builds this sort of strange resilience that it's like, then you just don't fear the same things as much anymore. I think that we all have to like go through that. Um, 
and then I'm sure like continue as we move through, continue moving through your shadows. Like you have to keep facing, keep facing things. Um, okay. But that's just what I got from that is that letting that ego death or letting that cycle close, um, is going to bring you to that stability. I mean, that's what, that's just, that's what came through. Um, And then we have the wheel of fortune is turned upside down. So that could just be, um, but could be bad karma. <laughs> could be bad karma playing out in some way for somebody. I don't want to, I've been talking for a really long time and I've been kind of, I don't really feel like I'm in the emperor position right now. I don't know what position I'm in. Um, queen of, queen of, I feel like maybe the temperance, I saw temperance reverse too. Maybe that's the energy that I'm in. Like a little bit, a little bit too silly. Um, just know that you have options. Um, Don't be afraid to take your time. That's what I guess is the other thing I'm getting. That's what I'm getting always. Like, like I said, from the owls are just, such, they're such badass creep. They're just, they're the coolest. They're the coolest. The rest of us are lame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, you're awesome. Especially with, it's, it's, especially with whatever it is that you're moving through. Cause life is crazy for everybody. Um, and I love you and try to embrace like, the some the magic like there's always something that to be grateful for and there's some magic um and that we don't get to control the people and the ops and the things that go up against us so embracing who you are and being in that loving yourself as the emperor or you know whatever the empress whatever position that you feel comfortable in and loving and embracing those parts about yourself um will help enrich your life <laughs> 